What's up everybody, Dapper Jeff here, coming at you with week two of our fantastic Mortal Kombat 11 coverage. I've been thinking, I need a challenge of a dish. Something simple and quick, but at the same time something that's massive and mighty and manly. A test your might meatball sub. Come on into my kitchen and I'm going to show you how to feed your warriors. For this dish, you're gonna need one egg. You're gonna need one pound of beef. Um, you don't have to go lean beef, but I have the 85% lean. You're gonna want a pound of pork. You're gonna want some breadcrumbs, some milk, some onions. You like how I went from uh, measured amounts to just some? Uh, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, parsley, and shredded Parmesan cheese. That's all you need for this dish. It's that easy. It's it's easier than punching in a fatality button combination, because that stuff's hard. Why is that so hard? Anywho, we're gonna start with our egg. We're gonna crack it. And hopefully you guys at home won't make a big mess like I just did. That was like a little overly aggressive cracking. All right, so after we've gotten our egg broken into our wonderful mixing bowl, um, I, I would feel morose if I didn't tell you to preheat your oven to 400 degrees at this point. That way it can preheat while you're working on your meatballs. So, now that we've covered that base, in no particular order, add literally everything else. So I'm gonna throw in our pound of beef, I'm gonna mix in our milk now, cause you know, beef, milk, cow, it, it seems to fit. Gonna do our Parmesan cheese, just literally everything goes into the mixing bowl at this point. Parsley, uh, if you have fresh parsley, go with that. I actually mathed out you know, the parsley flakes, how much would equal what I needed. Uh, our Italian seasoning. Garlic powder. Why it says garlic powder and not fresh garlic? Man, I don't know. We're throwing in onions. Why can't we throw in fresh garlic? Next time I do this, I'm using fresh. Now for the pork. I'm just gonna there we go, that came in there really easy. And finally, the breadcrumbs. Just sprinkle those in. And there we go, look at that meatball. Look at how delicious that looks. Okay, so now that we have all of our components in the bowl together, we wanna take our bare hands, or if you still have some of those latex gloves I was talking about, grab those, and just literally moosh it you want everything kind of mooshed together into one wonderful congealed mess, mass, a massive mess. One of the pro tips here is remember not to over mix the mixture. Um, like I said, you want everything blended together well, um, but to over mix would actually cause the meatballs to dry out and just not be that great. So I'm gonna do a couple more squeezy mooshes I don't know, we, we need a word for that. Doctor, give me a word. Smorshing. There we go, we're gonna smorsh this just a little more till it's all smorshed together. I like that word, that's, there we go. Smorshing, courtesy of Dr. Batman. One thing I forgot to mention earlier that I'm gonna mention now, when you're mixing together and you're, you're uh, smorshing your meats together, uh, make sure you add some salt and pepper just to taste. You know, you don't want under seasoned meatballs because that's gonna be really bad. Six twists, and I'm gonna do one more little boop of salt. And I'm gonna morsh that in, so that's all mixed in to everything. Ooh, I can smell the salt and pepper morshing in with uh, the onions and everything, and it actually smells really good. Smorshing. Smorshing, there we go, not morshing. Smorsh. It's like smash, but it's more. It, it feels like when, uh, when Sub-Zero hits you with an ice blast. Always remember guys, um, when dealing with raw meat, especially chicken and beef and you know, various meats, always remember to wash your hands um, in between handling, that way you don't cross-contaminate meats and it makes it a lot harder for you to get sick. <coughs> so there we go, there's a Dapper Jeff pro tip. So, we've got our baking sheet, I lined it with tin foil. I'm gonna grab some of our handy non-stick cooking spray. Just give it a little 
coat there. Just a little dab will do you there. I mean, we don't need a, an ocean. And now it's time for one of my favorite pro tips when making meatballs. I know a lot of you at home like ice cream. I mean, I do, I love ice cream. I'm a big guy, big guys love ice cream. Look it up, fact. So a lot of you might have one of these doodads, an ice cream scoop. This is great for measuring out your meatballs. Now this scoop, uh, it's actually got the size of it printed inside on the, the arm. It's uh, one and a half tablespoons, which is great. So you take your scoop, you grab a, a scoop -um of meat, there we go, you scoop them. And then, boom. And the best part about using a scoop them is all your meatballs are gonna be rough, you know, approximately the same size. So I'm just gonna scoop these out. So, Doctor, did you ever play Mortal Kombat growing up? Oh yeah, big time. All right, who is your favorite character? Like your, your go-to fighter? Um, I was a big fan of the the cyborgs in okay. Mortal Kombat 3, so like like Cyrax and Smoke. Nice. You know, those were my kind of like my couple of my go tos. You know, I got gotcha. you. In Mortal Kombat 3. See, I don't. I was always a Sub Zero guy. I mean, I, I, it's probably painfully obvious for anyone who like knows me. You know, I love the cold. It's just you know, second nature. Oh yeah. And I mean, he's a ninja. He's a ninja that will attack you with ice. You know what's not to love. Alright guys, so I got to thinking, in Mortal Kombat, a lot of these fighters eat some really weird things, you know, brains, faces, so I got to thinking, I'm gonna bust out a muffin tin and make meatball muffins, in addition to regular meatballs, because why not? Tell me I can't, then watch me do it. All right, guys, well, we got our meatballs in the oven. We're going to do something that's going to step this uh, sub up to the next level. That's right. We're talking some next level sandwiches. I'm going to grab a little bit of butter, throw it in my pan here. I'm just going to let it melt. Smear it around. I'm going to kind of let this butter coat the bottom of my pan, much like so. And I'm going to stick it back on the heat. And all I'm going to do now is grab these fantastic French rolls that I got earlier. I'm gonna open them up nice and wide. Look at that, just uh, I'm putting just a little bit of pressure on it because like I said, I wanna get that full face down on the pan, against the pan, so it gets the full toasting effect of the fire. I mean, it's either this or I just throw bread into a fire. That'd be kind of fun. Hey, doctor! Yeah. Can we throw some bread in the fire? No. You never let me have any fun. Except for that time you let me play with knives. And, uh, and matches. All right, so I'm gonna lift this. All right, so it's, ah, that's hot. <laughs> so as you can see, it's not toasted yet. Uh, another option would be to butter your bread and not the pan. That may have been the better option. But hey, I'm not known for making the smartest moves. Did I ever tell you guys, I was in this Mortal Kombat tournament once and I'm all like, ha ha! And I, I got my opponent down to like one hit and that was all like, Finish him! And I was all like, nah, I'm good. And I turned around and out of nowhere he's all like, err, fatality! And he beat me and I'm like, man, there's a tournament lost. But Dapper Jeff won. Friendship. So our timer just went off on our awesome meatballs. I'm gonna grab an oven mitt. Not that one, I'm gonna grab the other oven mitt. I don't know why, I'm just really like, I like this one because it's vinyl and I know that God forbid the lining inside fail, that the vinyl will protect my hand from the heat. Silicone. Silicone. All right, guys. So our timer just went off. I'm going to grab my awesome silicone oven mitt because it gives my hand this wonderful feeling of safety. And I'm going to grab my meatballs out of the oven. All right, I can hear them sizzling. Be really careful when you grab them out. 
you know, because you don't want to burn yourself. It's definitely something you don't want to do. All right, I especially want to be careful with this one because we baked them in the oven. All that greasy, fatty goodness is still in this pan. That's also part of the reason you line it with tin foil. Look at our meatball muffins. Those look fantastic. Now I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna test and see if they're ready. There's two main ways to see if your meatballs are done. The first method is take a meat thermometer and stick it into the meatball and see if it's at about 165 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius or centigrade or whatever they call it nowadays. This way is a little more fun. I've cut it open. I can see it's cooked entirely, cooked all the way through. Now for the final test. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. Are very hot. These are done. And these are delicious, so I'm gonna kill my oven. I'm gonna let my meatballs cool for just a minute while I get the uh, bread ready to whip up my fantastic Mortal Kombat meatball sub. All right, guys, so as you can see, we took one of our toasty breads, we threw some meatballs on it. I'm gonna do the same thing with the others. One about three meatballs per sandwich, because that's, that's a good amount. It's a nice even uh, team, good team of three. So we've also got the oven warming up because what we're going to do is we're going to blow your minds with how awesome this is. We start off the broiler. So we're going to get some heat going. We're going to put these under direct fire heat. Uh, it's going to be awesome. But not before I grab a special secret ingredient. Good friends I hold in my dapper hand some provolone cheese. I'm going to take a slice. I'm gonna rip it in half, you know, like it was in Mortal Kombat. I'm gonna lay it on the sandwich. I'm gonna take another slice. I'm gonna rip it in half again. Lay it on this sandwich now. Now, doctor, what do you think? Should I put some marinara on before I throw it in the broiler or after? After. After, all right, we're gonna keep this crispy and toasty. I'm gonna grab this oven mitt that's not the silicone one, but it's true. True friends are like the sun. They always shine. True words. I'm gonna take our fantastic Mortal Kombat meatball sandwiches. I'm gonna slide them right in here under the broiler. Ooh. It's not sliding so much as fumbling. I'm just gonna let them sit for about, about two minutes or so, just until the cheese is nice and melted on the top. To make it fantastic. I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right guys, so we've had this under broil for about a minute and a half to two minutes. It doesn't take long because broil you have it under like direct fire. It's pretty awesome. So you're gonna see what a fantastic Mortal Kombat meatball sub looks like right now. So I'm gonna pull it out. Oh it smells heavenly. I wish you guys could smell half the stuff I smell on this show. So check that out. The cheese is melted, the bread is extra toasty, and now it's missing just one component to being the perfect meatball sub. Some bloody good marinara. You know, the same marinara sauce we made last week that I conveniently put in the freezer so it could keep. And now I'm taking a nice ladle full. And doctor, how much marinara would you like? Just a little bit. Just a little bit? You tell me when. Uh, All right. Let me give some on that one. Because the cool thing with these sandwiches now is you can eat them you know, as sandwiches if you want. You can use a knife and a fork, you know, like a civilized person, whatever that is. Or, you know, you just rip it apart, you know, like you're in Mortal Kombat and just say, no, sandwich, I will best you. And there we go. I'm going to plate one of these up and I'll see you guys in half a second. All right, guys. So that's how you make a fantastic test your might meatball sub. I'm Dapper Jeff. I hope you guys have enjoyed this dish. I'll see y'all next week, but until then, stay well fed. Rawr, I am in Mortal Kombat. I am the newest combatant. DLC for Breadman! Rawr! I replaced Shaggy.